Hey guys, it's me, Charlie YDM. Welcome back to another video. And today we are back with some more reaction videos and it's to some more Happy Tree Friends episodes. That is right. So I found a few new to react to and we're gonna watch them. So today's what we're gonna watch are Break the Cycle and Random Acts of Silence. So I don't know what to expect, but I'm hoping these will be good. I'm hoping Sniffles is a great episode and I'm hoping, you know, Nothing too bad is going to happen and oh my god, let's just hope for the best. I know something really bad is going to happen at some point, I know, but I just have to prepare for it. Honestly, these episodes have been really, really grim lately. Honestly, I've noticed it pretty well that these episodes have been so fucking like grim and gory and just, it just makes me look away sometimes. Honestly, it's just terrible. But let's just see, shall we? So, if any further ado, let's begin. So, let's start with Break the Cycle. Let's do this. Okay, Mondo Media. What have you got in today's video? Alright, break the cycle. By the way, look guys, we've got a post in the background. <laughs> T is for Toothy. Using a toothbrush this tournament. Also featuring Lumpy. Yeah, also I can't read that fucking thing. I've got to pause to read it. So, we've got Toothy in this. He's cute, honestly. He's got a big heart. I can't deny you that. Oh, the bird just flew off his other screw. Oh no. Oh shit, where'd that hill come from? Oh my god, I caught his bike on fire and his tail's right behind it. Oh my god, I didn't think that was gonna happen. I was just gonna fall off his bike or something. <laughs> Lumpy! <laughs> oh my god. Do you honestly think you're that good at this shit? Because I personally don't think so. <laughs> honestly. Oh, okay. So the bike that was on fire went past Lumpy and then it caught him on fire. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh my god, this is like Saw, but fucking animated. That's gonna land on the mine, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. And obviously Crabat doesn't die to it. <laughs> what the fuck? Where'd that come from? Lampy's not alive, surely. Jesus Christ. There was no way in hell Lumpy was still alive, honestly. Because he had a skeleton head and he was burnt on fire. There's no way in hell he'd still be alive from that. Like is, lo no, life is like riding a bicycle in order to keep your balance. You must keep moving. I tried to keep moving by talking, but I just couldn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see the, those moments where Toofy was crying? Yeah, that just shows you always got a big heart. He's brave. He tries to together but he just like he he gets so upset about it but yeah other characters obviously they don't cry as much i mean maybe some do i mean lumpy sometimes does cry but you know toofy always does it but that just that just shows you he's got a big heart but oh my god you can't deny how fucking grim that was though oh my god uh some like bicycle crimp was through his stomach and he was trying to get his uh, it's hard to explain really, but it's just fucking grim, that's all I'm going to say. I, 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 I didn't like that one bit, that, that was just so, that was so gross. And his face was all scratched as well, honestly, it was just, just fucked up. Lumpy was burnt by the um, bicycle that was on fire, by two of his bicycle that was on fire. So yeah, overall, grim episodes. Alright, so now we're going to watch Random Acts of Silence. So, let's see what this shit's about. Mondo Media. I don't know if you cut that out or not. I can keep it in. Let's see what you guys think. Right, random max of silence. Oh no, not Flippy. <laughs> no. Also featured 90 snibbles of mine. Please. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Uh, of course, 90 snibbles are doing something together. It's a library, I'm assuming. 
You know, he's Nibbles, the best buddy. You're supposed to lift the chair, not scrape across the floor. And Mime, you don't even talk. Honestly, how the fuck did you make that mistake? You don't even talk. Chair creaks. Oh, I'd hate that sound. Flippy, don't trigger your PTSD. It's just squeaky noises. Ha! <laughs> just put books underneath. You're making too much noise, Mime. You need to stop that. It's a library. That mime is just so... He can't do anything to keep quiet, despite the fact he doesn't even talk. Don't even think about triggering it. Okay, I was going to say, is he going to trigger it? Oh wait, but the sword might make him... Well, you never know what's going to happen these days, do you? Oh no, the fucking bell did that. Oh no, no, two feet, not two feet. Flippy, please don't. Oh, you can see how angry he is as well. They set the alarm to open the emergency exit door. No. No! Oh my god, are you kidding me? They had to make him the first one to die again. What the fuck is that? Are you for real? <sighs> oh, these are brutal as hell. Oh wow, look at that. I freaking mime's the last one to survive. <laughs> Paper. Paper cutting. In the... Oh, that noise wasn't very nice. Dude. Flaky, oh no, don't kill Flaky. She's innocent. I just stamped it with blood mark. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you should shush yourself for that fucking laugh. Oh, I was thinking Flaky was gonna start screaming because like that was around them. <laughs> there are times when science is, has loud as voice. And science is the loudest one. What the hell? What the actual hell? You know, I was thinking there was going to be a scene where Flaky was screaming when, you know, Flick, we started doing that, that evil laugh. But I guess it just didn't happen because, well, I mean, we've heard Flaky scream most of the time, so some people just want to make it seem like Flippy and Flaky, you know, they're, they're great together. But obviously, people would not believe that because, well, Flaky's scared of Flick, we, to the point where she starts having nightmares of him. So I, I guess you can't really say that. But, oh my gosh, sorry about my fucking hair. I <laughs> know oh, shit. But, they've done it again. They made Sniffles the first one to die, and Mime the last one to die. So like, they, they kill my favourites first, and then kill my least favourites last. Why do they keep doing this? Oh my god, it's like they secretly know what I like and dislike, so they go for the ones I like most and keep the ones I hate the most. Yeah, so, I mean, Flaky survived at the end, but honestly, yeah, I like Flaky, but technically she survived. She didn't even get killed once. I mean, she could have been when when that when Flippy did that laugh, but still, <laughs> he shushed himself and putting that stamp on there and laughing. Man, talking of hypocrites, honestly, look, he's over there in the background watching me make this video. You're a hypocrite. You're a hypocrite. If you're offended by that, come and stab me. I'm not afraid of it. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have regret saying that now. <laughs> but anyway, which one do I prefer? I'm gonna say random acts of silence. I just thought it was quite a funny episode to watch. And we've got the good old friendship story between Sniffles and Nutty, honestly. They're, they're great together because, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying they should share, but I'm not saying that. No, 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 no. I think they've got a good friendship story together. Like, they get along really well. Sniffles helped, you know, Nutty with his um, candy addiction from what I saw in um, some, like, video game that Carl's Mina should be on a live stream. And, um, yeah, Nut Sniffles tried to help, you know, Nutty when, um, yeah, he had, he had that concrete in his stomach as well. And, you know, Sniffles, you know... Really, really, you know, is a good friend to Nutty and he helps him a lot. So, honestly, you, you can't deny how great they are together. They've played checkers together in one of the um, episodes as well. 
So I, I've honestly got no problem with them getting along. But you know, I do think you know Sniffles and Flaky would have a better friendship story together because I mean they're both they're both smart. Flaky is really shy, but Sniffles, you know, he can show that he's he can be there for anyone. He's he, he's a, he's a scientist and he's a medic. Honestly, you know, he's he's great. So that's why I think you know Flaky and Sniffles would be great together with with their friendship story. But you know, whatever you guys think is up to you. But it's just personally what I think. You can go ahead and attack me, but you should be glad that I'm not freaking saying that Flippy and Flaky should be shipping because obviously I, I don't like that ship anymore. So just just um, just remember that, <laughs> and be okay the fact that I think you know nipples and flaky are great together. But anyway, enough talking. Let's just end the video here. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Play subscribe. Peace out. Think yourselves. Fuck flick we, not flippy flick we.